Hi, this is Pastor Ray with Gospel Tabernacle Church in Susanville. I'd like to talk to you about salvation. This is a, an important topic, uh, and I want to make sure, um, and it's my desire in my heart, that everybody would be saved. Uh, and I'm going to express to you that I'm not the first one to come up with that idea. Um, in Romans chapter 10, Paul says this, brethren, in verse 1, it's my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved. So this chapter is dealing with salvation and the Jews. And in the process of dealing with that, he gives us the nuts and bolts of salvation, the cognitive, the mental part of salvation, the part that has to do with our mind, will, and emotions. And so uh, let's read and see what Paul has to say about this. Romans chapter 10, verse 9, that if thou wilt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Okay, I can understand that. Um, I, can, I can understand that mentally. I can grasp, although it's amazing that a man would come back from the dead, but God raised him from the dead. If I would believe that, okay, if I would have trust in that and believe that, and then the other part, confess the Lord Jesus, what it's referring to is confessing him to be your Lord. And I can understand that, turning my life over uh, and letting him run my life instead of me. Wow. Uh, that, that's easy to understand mentally. And God wants you to understand mentally what's going on. It has to do with uh, you understanding how you were, were brought back to God, how you were reconciled to God. He wants you to have clarity of mind, heart, your mind, will, and emotions, that this is how it's done. That you believed in your heart that God raised him from the dead. That you confessed with your mouth, I want him to be my Lord, Jesus to be my Lord of my life. That's cognitive. That's understanding. Now here's the caveat. Here's the hiccup in this scenario. That is, if that's all you have, is that understanding? You may not be saved. Because there's another aspect to this salvation that you must have. It's not just the cognitive, I understand this, I believe this, but something else has to happen. And we want to take a look at that in our next session. But get this down, Romans 10, 9 and 10. So you understand the process in which you were saved, what God did for you. And you trust in that and believe in that. This is Pastor Ray. God bless you.